Round after round of Russian artillery fire bombards the city, but the real battle for Grozny is now being fought building by building, room by room. Russian troops have encircled key points within the city. The Chechen resistance, while determined, appears to be weakening. The city's defenders have broken into small units to inflict maximum damage on the enemy. Others have fled to the mountains, digging in for a lengthy guerrilla war. It may be Chechnya's strongest weapon against Moscow's political will. Afghanistan still weighs heavily on the nation's conscience. On a trip to Prague, one of President Yeltsin's sternest critics took up the issue of a protracted conflict. Yegor Gaidar has won favor in the West for his outspoken criticism of the president. If the path of the policy will be continued, his possibilities of influencing the events will diminish. Day by day, it appears that Yeltsin is losing the support of his people. In St. Petersburg and Moscow, Russians of all political persuasions took to the streets to denounce government policy. Mothers can't understand why their children are suffering. More and more young Russians are being imprisoned. Even more are losing their lives. These soldiers were captured as they parachuted into the war zone. Others are leaving it. For these Chechens, Grozny may no longer be there when it comes time to return home.